हेलो स्टूडेंट सो वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑन हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग इज बेसिकली डिवाइडेड इनटू द फोर पार्ट्स फर्स्ट वन जियोमेट्रिक डिजाइन ऑफ हाईवे सेकंड वन ट्रैफिक इंजीनियरिंग थर्ड वन पेवमेंट मटेरियल एंड द लास्ट वन डिजाइन ऑफ पेमेंट इन दिस वीडियो वी बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ जियोमेट्रिक डिजाइन ऑफ हाईवे Let's consider two cities which we want to connect. And if there is a, any obstruction between them, then we need to bend the road sideward. Or if there is any canal, then we need to pass this road over this canal. Or they suppose one city is which is important, and we want to connect this city, then we need to pass this road from this city too. So there are lots of things which we need to consider during the geometric design of highway. Basically, geometrical design of highway deal with the dimension, layout of the visible features of the highway, such as the width. This is the width of the road, alignment, side distance, and intersection. We we discuss this element after some time. Now let discuss the important of geometrical design of highway. It is feasible to lay out and assemble the pavement of a road into stages, but sometimes it is very difficult and expensive. to improve the geometrical element of road in stages at later date therefore it is important to plan and design the geometric feature of road during the initial alignment taking itself into consideration the future growth of traffic and the possibility of road being upgraded to a higher category or to a higher design speed at a later stages now let discuss the element of the geometrical design first element is a cross sectional element second one Side distance. Third element is horizontal alignment. Fourth element is vertical alignment, and the fifth and last one, intersection. Let's first discuss the cross-sectional element. Cross-sectional element basically deal with the width of the pavement. How much width we need to provide? How much shoulder? This is the shoulder. How much shoulder which we need to provide? And uh, what is the cross slope? This one is cross slope. The slope which is provided for the drainage of water and all, and how much road margin which we need to provide, and what is the total width we need to provide. All the things we are discussing in the cross sectional element. Now let discuss the side distance. Let consider a vehicle which is moving in a forward direction on the road. We assume that that the height of driver is 1.2 meter from the road. So side distance is the height. Side distance is basically deal with like how much driver can see from this position is known as side distance. The clearance available at this side is known as side distance. Now let us discuss the alignment. There is generally two kind of alignment: horizontal alignment and vertical alignment. First, discuss what is alignment. Uh, alignment means if any object move in a straight path and then it deviates, then it means its alignment are getting changed. And in this road, the horizontal alignment are showing. Horizontal alignment means They consider a uh, consider a road moving straight, and then it move and it deviate in a curve on the surface. Then it is regarded change in horizontal alignment. In this picture, horizontal alignment of road is shown. Next one, vertical alignment. If any object move in a forward direction or raises in upward or downward direction, then it is regarded change in a vertical alignment. In this picture, vertical alignment of the road is shown. Fifth and the last element. is intersection so let discuss what the intersection mean intersection means the general area where two or more highway join or cross traffic conflict tend to occur at or near the intersection and they are the potential sites of the accident and therefore these are the important things need to consideration in design safety of the road and in this there are lot 32 conflict points are there and so therefore we need to design the road for the at intersection point also we need to consider the conflict point we always try to minimize the number of the conflict point while designing the road and the area in which conflict point fall is known as a conflict area and this area is known as the conflict area in which the conflict is occurring now let discuss types of the intersection there generally two kind of intersection an intersection grade separated intersection intersection at grade means All the areas of the intersection join or cross at same level. In this figure, all the roads are at same level. And if this kind of intersection are occurring, 
then this is known as intersection at grade second one is in grade separated intersection it is defined at the road as the road separated and constructed at different elevation if the road are at different elevation then it is known as the intersection at grade overbridge and underbridge bridge is an example of grade separated intersection